Last season, the TCU Horn Frogs were at home and took CTU lightly. And CTU went down early, 21 to nothing. It looked like the game that the experts predicted. But then CTU started to make a comeback. And so far, we have had a ton of comebacks in this series, but this one came up just short as TCU held on to win it 37 to 31 in the closing seconds. But now in season two, both teams are vying for that number one spot in the Big 12 Division A as we face off today. Number 15 in the country are the TCU Horn Frogs. And now we get to make our stamp on this division. We are undefeated coming into this game and TCU is without their starting quarterback for the rest of the season. So in comes the dual threat Demetrius Davis, who could actually contribute more to this offense due to his running ability. But Brad Price returns this year as a junior running back. He has three touchdowns over 500 yards. Last year, he ran for over 130 yards against us. But this year is different. This has implications, first place in implications, and actually BCS implications. UNC is number one. They are the number one team in the country, one of three undefeated teams. Then there's Indiana, who is top 10. And then there's us, sitting here at 5-0, we have a few tough games left on the schedule, and I think we can finish this season undefeated if we play our cards right. Quick look at recruiting. I want to highlight recruiting, and I will highlight or give you high school highlights later in the season. Jamal Taylor is a top power back in the state, and I'm not sure if he will be a three down back because of his lack of versatility, but he is a guy that can tote the rock and especially use that power. And we will see if he commits, he's very, very close. Jordan Hawkins looks like he could be leaning towards Kansas State. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Stan McDaniels is a interesting tight end. We need tight end going forward because uh, Marone is a junior and we will need a future at that position. And then there's Whitley Crew, an awesome strong safety who I like a lot. He is a do-it-all safety. We'll have to see how these recruits end up playing out. But right now we already have four commits and now we look to the game. So let's get this one underway. BJ Johnson starts out on the offense with this CTU Lions team. And we'll see if he can lead us to victory in our sixth straight win to start this season. Here is Johnson on the first play, dropping back, and that one will be thrown out of bounds. TCU has a good defense coming into this game. I think they're uh, definitely underachieving at this point. I think they're way better than what their uh, kind of rankings say they are. We lose a couple of yards now, bringing it to a third and 12. Johnson throws to the right side and just absolutely airmails that one. Looking for Marone, it's incomplete. And now here comes TCU's offense, led by Brad Price. He gets the first carry up the middle in a wide open hole. Not even sure what happened on that play. It's a gain of 10. Now CTU comes into this game with a top 10 rushing defense. And you know they want to give the ball off to Brad Price. Here's a handoff. He makes a move up the middle. That's a gain of about 11 yards and a first down. Brad Price tore us up in game number one last year. Now matchup number two has to be different. We're at home this time. Draw play, Stratton in the game, and there is a tackle by Sion Okafor for a loss of maybe a half yard. Second and 10, here is Davis throwing across the middle. He's got his tight end, Jordan Rowe. It's gonna be a gain of 11 for a first down. So CTU has intercepted a pass in every single game this year. We'll see if we can do it today. Here is Davis, though, taking off up the middle. And he picks up a gain of 11. And the rushing offense working early on for TCU. Brad Price back into the game. Hand off to him. He takes to the outside. He has space to the end zone. It's a touchdown for TCU. 18 yards out. And Brad Price makes us pay. And it is a 7-0 game early on for TCU. As now here comes BJ out onto the field. We'll see if we can lead an 85-yard drive. He's going to need to do it on this drive. Here we go. Here is Calvin Smith with the carry. He gets a gain of six. 
I do want to get Smith going, whether it's in the passing game or the running game. Last game he had a couple of big screens. Here is a read option. He takes it to the right side is B.J. Johnson, and it's going to be a first down. Gain of seven for his first carry today. We bring in Cookie Rockman, the fullback this time. TCU's pressure is right in there. It's a sack for a loss of 10. And I don't know what happened to our offensive line on that one. Four guys are running at B.J. Johnson on that. It's now a third and 20. They send pressure again. Throw to the right side. This is Flint Steele. Who has it and makes a man miss? He's across the 50 to about the 43-yard line. Gain of 38 on that curl. And he just makes a move and runs after catch. This is what we've been wanting from Flint Steele, opposite of Kentrell Craft. So now we're across the 50 now. Here is Johnson. It's a draw play to Calvin Smith. He gets to the outside, throwing a stiff arm and picking up a gain of nine yards, showing good balance early on. We lose a couple yards on second down, bringing it to a third and four. Johnson throws to Marone, who has it, and it's gonna get to about the 25 yard line. It's a gain of 12. So here's Johnson now, play action fake, throwing in the face of pressure, and it's caught by Flint Steele. This is an impressive throw by B.J. Johnson. The pressure was right in his face, and he just delivers a strike to the freshman. And now we're inside the 10-yard line, first and goal. Johnson, this is a draw play to Calvin Smith. That's just not going to work. It looks like TCU saw that one all the way. Tyler Freeman with his second tackle for loss today. Second and goal now. Here is BJ throwing to the right side. This is Mookie Richardson fighting forward and he gets in. It's a touchdown, 13 yards out. How about Mookie Richardson showing off the power after this catch, breaking one tackle, throwing off another, and then somehow getting pushed forward into the end zone. And Mookie Richardson scores for the first time this season. So 7-7 seven, seven game now, and here is Davis running the option to start the next drive. He takes the left side, breaks a tackle, and fall, falls forward out of bounds. It's a gain of 13 yards. Demetrius Davis really showing off that dual threat ability. As you can see, they run the option often. Here is Brad Price throwing off a couple of guys. It's a gain of 11. We got to really take him down on first contact, at least get two guys in there because he is breaking free on a lot of runs. Here is Stratton. This is a big run up the middle, and it's going to be a gain of 13 yards on that carry. It looks like they have two backs who can get it done. Stratton was on their team last year. He also got a few carries last year's game, and here's Demetrius Davis up the middle. It's a gain of nine, and they are just continuing to pound the rock. Just outside the 25-yard line. This is Brad Price running in motion now. Look at all the different ways they are getting Brad Price the football. That time, running a jet sweep. It's a first down. It's a first and 10 now. Stratton in the game. Another handoff. They are just running us to death. Inside the five. Gain of 17. Eric Stratton. It's now a first and goal. Did not see this coming at all from TCU. Handoff. No, it's a fake to Davis, and he gets hit hard in the air. It's going to be a huge hit that time by Bernard Benjamin, bringing it to a second and goal. Is now they line up with two tight ends. A nice play that time. It looks like no. This defense is there, stuffed. Tyler Ashley was there for the tackle, along with Jaden Alcala, and now it is a third and goal. They're probably going to throw this one. Davis in the pocket looking for somebody to throw it to. It's a sack by Sion Okafor. That's his fourth sack of the season. That leads the team. Good stop there by the CTU defense. Now it's 10-7. Screen pass to start off the next quarter, and that one will be a loss of one maybe. And it looked like Calvin Smith could have ran for days. This one officially starts the second quarter. Here is B.J. Johnson. He takes it to the right side, scrambling for a first down. B.J. Johnson hasn't had the quarterback design runs like he's had last year. They do still call the option, but with our new offensive coordinator calling plays, we will see how he how much he gets the ball on the ground. Here's a throw to the right side. That is Kentrell Kraft, who has it for a gain of six yards. Now it's a second and four. This is B.J. throwing to the right side. That's Kraft again for the first down. This time it's a gain of 11. 
CTU does throw the ball well this year. We almost have 10 touchdowns passing from our quarterback, BJ, and this is a handoff loss of four yards. And Calvin Smith, only five carries for five yards, bringing it back to the 49-yard line, second and 14. This is a counter play. Calvin Smith does get some yardage back. That one goes for a gain of nine. I can tell this year we have been trying to run the football a lot better. Calvin Smith is definitely adding a spark, but Cookie Rockman also being in on a lot of formations, blocking for him as B.J. Johnson takes off for the first down. So here we go back at the 31. The pressure right up the middle again. Johnson tries to get out of the pocket. It's a sack. Ron Pendleton. And now we're back at the 40. It's a third and 22. This TCU pressure is getting in there. This time they only rush two. We have all day. Third and 22. Johnson throws across the middle. This one's picked off. That was intended for Kentrell Craft. It looked like it was intended for Jackson Jackson. But BJ just couldn't make an accurate throw. And it ends up being a turnover. And now TCU's offense is back out onto the field. We tried to use some clock that drive, but here's a throw to the left side. Good play, Bernard Benjamin on the deflection. And now it's a second and 10 out of 48. And here they come with three wide receivers to the right side. Looks like they had the bubble screen design. It was covered well, but Davis takes off. He's got the first down. It's a gain of 14, man. He is quick when he takes off like that. A quick 14 yards, first down. Four minutes to go. This is Davis. This is a read option this time. He gets hit hard. Jerome Henry on the tackle is going to be a gain of eight. Is now they're close to the 31. As here is Davis, a handoff up the middle. Brad Price and another first down for TCU. I mean, they are running the ball extremely well today. And now here we go. Davis, another draw play. This time Stratton's in the game, and Eric Stratton takes it up the middle. It's a gain of nine. And he's got 42 yards carrying so far. They're well over 100 yards rushing, just at about 150 so far. Here is Davis now. We send some pressure, but Davis gets rid of it to the left side. It's Stratton who runs in for the touchdown. But the refs go and take a look at this. It looked like he may have stepped out of bounds at about the 10, maybe the 9-yard line. So this will come back. They bring it all the way back to the 15 after a second and 14. Here is Davis this time scrambling. He makes the man miss. It's a touchdown, a flag on the play, and we get helped out on that one as we get another chance here to stop TCU for a second and 19. Almost two minutes left here in the first half. Davis in the pocket this time. Throws to the right side, and he's got Sean Green. Touchdown. 19 yards for their leading receiver in a second in 19 they convert for the touchdown 17 to 7 here as can ctu answer this offense back it looks like they are running the ball well and uh oh if their passing game gets going gotta look out here is ctu though back on offense and there is a throw to kentrell craft how about the touch on that ball right there and craft gets open 10 of 15 to start this game for bj johnson and now here we go at about the 30, first and 10. TCU's pressure gets in right away. We have to get away from the pocket and throwing to the right side. And that is Kentrell Kraft with another catch. And another first down for him. He's got four today. 39 seconds and ticking left in the first half. Second and eight. BJ rolls to the right side. Tries to throw back across the middle. It ain't worked before. It doesn't work this time. It's intercepted. And that's what happens when we get greedy. BJ could have thrown that pass away, just lived to play another down. And instead, we turn the football over. And TCU is back out onto the field before halftime. You don't think they're going to try to go for the end zone here. Here's a quick throw, and that is Brad Price. That one is dropped. It stops the clock as well. We have two timeouts here. I mean, we might have enough time to stop them and possibly get a field goal. Handoff, no, a read option, third and seven, a big time hit on Demetrius Davis by Smoke Wyatt. And we will call the timeout right there. And now we have 11 seconds left. There's about 30 so yards to get into field goal range as here is Johnson now, trying not to use too much clock. He scrambles to the right side and dives out of bounds. It's gonna be a gain of 12, 
five seconds to go. It looks like we'll only have play time for one more play to the end zone. And here is BJ under center. He's going to air it out deep. One-on-one -on -one for Jackson. Jackson who goes up and gets it to the six, and he is tackled. It's a gain of 46 yards, almost a Hail Mary before half, but we go into the half down by 10. So second half action now as TCU has played excellent on offense and defense. They have caused two turnovers and have given pressure all game long. But here is Brad Price finally getting stopped. Vincent Showcross on the tackle. Second and 11 this time, handoff. Brad Price just drags Tyler Ashley, the preseason All-American, for a gain of 11 yards for a first down. 17-7 lead. It looks like TCU is going to continue to run the football, but this time five wide, and it's a quarterback draw, but stopped right away. Jamarcus Lexington on the stop that time. Now it's a third and six. Davis throws across the middle, and Sean Green cannot, cannot hold on to it. And it's going to be a crucial drop as CTU's offense is back out onto the field. We get helped out right there by the drop. TCU sending pressure right away. And it looked like maybe the backfield had a little confusion on that play. It's a loss of about 11 yards on that one. Third and 18 now, Johnson throws, and that one is sailed. Incomplete. B.J. Johnson has just not looked comfortable in the pocket today. TCU's defense has been hounding him all day. So here's a punt now. Clark takes it all the way to the 24-yard line. Probably should have been a face mask on that call as well. But now TCU starts out with excellent field position. You can't help out a good offense even more. Here is Davis now with a drop-off pass, this time to Brad Price for a gain of two. Jamarcus Lexington having a good game along with Showcross, but we need a turnover here, especially in the red zone. Here is a zone read, handoff. This is Stratton into the game. It's a gain of seven. When you put Stratton and Brad Price in the game at the same time, there's no telling who's going to get the ball. Third and one, quick throw across the middle, and that one is incomplete, but it's a fourth and one. They're going to line up to go for this one here. A big stop could go a long way for the CTU Lions. And now they bring in Stratton and Price, and they hand off to Price. Price finds the crease, and it's a gain of nine. First down, 11 for 90 yards for Brad Price. As they spread him out wide here inside the five, Davis throws to the sideline. This one's caught by Corey Clark. It's a touchdown. Demetrius Davis only has 52 yards passing, but the running attack has done it today. He's also got two touchdowns through the air. So we start out the next drive with a quick throw, and that is Mike Marone. He gets 23 yards for the first down. We're across the 50. Handoff. Calvin Smith showing some patience, and he picks up maybe a gain of four. The running attack hasn't gotten going like we've liked, but eight for 21 for Calvin Smith, the freshman. Here is Johnson now, looking for somebody to throw it to, just trying to buy some time, and he eventually just throws this one away. You can just see the coverage is even good for TCU. Now that brings it to a fourth and four. Quick throw, and that is caught by Jackson. Jackson gain of 14 for only his second catch of the day. We eventually get this one inside the 10. First and goal, throw into left side. That one caught by Flynn Steele. It's a touchdown toss by BJ, 18 of 26. You would think he's not doing bad today, but two of those six incompletions have been interceptions. So down by 10 again, here's TCU, a handoff to Brad Price, and this time Sion Okafor sees that one coming all the way. Third and 10, Davis in the pocket, throws to Givens, who breaks the tackle and gets to the first down marker, but a flag. It helps us out. It's going to be clipping. Clipping not only gets called against the user now, it gets called against the CPU. That one comes all the way back for a third and 16 at their own 24. They need to get to the 40. Third and 16, throw to the right side. And I'm telling you, it couldn't have gotten any closer than that. Jordan Rowe, 15 yards. So we do get possession back, but here is CTU on offense. The pressure right in his face. B.J. Johnson had to get rid of that one. And now it's a second and 10. Play action fake again. 
BJ loads up to throw this one deep and it's gonna put on the ground. Strip sack by TCU in the third turnover of the game by BJ Johnson, but an excellent pressure off the right edge. And we were looking downfield and I think Jackson Jackson would have scored on that play. He was wide open. Now at the 13 yard line, Wildcat offense. Here's a throw to the end zone, touchdown. Brad Price can not only run the football, he throws a dart across the middle, 31 to 14 to open up that next drive. And just like that, CTU is up three scores. Here's a toss out to the right side to start the next drive. This is Mike Marone who's got it and just running over defenders as well, 46 yards. Marone is showing that he is the guy this year. Now into the fourth quarter, here is BJ. Play action, fake throw in across the middle. This one's caught. It's a touchdown, Kentrell Kraft. We only need two plays for that drive. And we answer right back quickly. And Kentrell Kraft gets in. 31 to 21, back to a 10 point game. Here is Davis now. Demetrius rolls the left side, breaks a tackle, and puts the ball on the ground. Picked up by the TCU offense. Big time hit by Vincent Showcross again, his second sack of the evening. And now that brings it back to the 20 for a second and long screen pass called. Brad Price tries to get away from Showcross, but he's just having an excellent game today. Third and long, Smoke Wyatt gets credit for the tackle. And now here they go, third and 13. This is Davis in the pocket. He's gonna look to throw, he does. He throws it short to Givens who breaks a tackle and does not get away from Tyler Ashley. And he needed 14, he only got 12. Six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Here is BJ rolling to the right side. Nobody to really throw it to, but he has an open man. That's Jackson Jackson, who cannot break free. He had a whole lot of space in front of him. It's a gain of 27. We hurried up to the line now. Across the 50, here is Johnson rolling. He might run this one, he does. He gets pushed out of bounds and he puts the ball on the ground for a gain of six. Five minutes to go now, third and two, throw to the right side. That one is a quick pass to Mike Marone who was wide open. It's a gain of six for him. He's over 100 yards on that catch. Five minutes to go now. Here's a quick throw to left side, and that one could have been caught by Brian Johnson. Instead, it's dropped third and 10. Right at the five-minute mark now. Here is Johnson throwing to left side, and that one looks like it may have been overthrown. I think he was looking for the underneath route on that one, the shallow crosser. And now it's a 31 to 24 game after we settle for a field goal. So down by seven, we need to stop Got here. It. Demetrius Davis trying to scramble. It's another sack by Vincent Showcross. That one is his second of the day. Four tackles for a loss as well. Third and five, quick throw. Clark gets behind Smoke Wyatt. We were expecting some type of shallow crosser on that play and we did not go with the receiver across the middle. It's a first down. 31-24 Wildcat offense for Brad Price, and he takes it to the left side. Nobody follows him. It's a touchdown. Wow. Like, nobody followed him on that play. I mean, he was just wide open. He was surprised. He tried to cut up field and then went to the outside, and now it is a 38-24 game. Back to a two-score lead. CTU now with three minutes to go. Trying to come back in this one. BJ in the pocket. Rolls, throws. Incomplete. Looking for Mike Marone once again. Now it's a third and 10. TCU has lined up in these different defensive sets all game long. And now here we are. Jackson throws. Johnson throws to the deep down the middle of the field. That one is dropped by Kentrell Kraft. Fourth and 10. This one probably is the game. Here's a throw to the right side. This one incomplete. And TCU will take back over with three minutes to go. They're going to use a ton of clock here. Here is Brad Price with the handoff. And we cannot bring him down. Tyler Ashley with a terrible form tackle. And it's going to be a first down. 175 yards for Brad Price. Here's a run by Stratton. Throw it off. Two defenders. Ashley cannot bring him down again. A gain of 15 yards. Smoke Wyatt couldn't even bring him down. Then Ashley couldn't bring him down. If your two best tacklers cannot tackle the ball carrier, you're in trouble. 
Brad Price now just continuing to run the ball well as they now get it inside the 10. Here is a handoff to Eric Stratton who cuts back. Look at the vision. It's a touchdown, 21 point lead here for TCU late. And CTU looks like this game is way out of reach with under a minute to go. But here is BJ Johnson just trying to give his team life at least going into next week. Here is a scramble to the right side. He makes a man miss getting out of bounds. 23 seconds to go here. Let's see what we can do. Rolling to the right side, throwing to an open. Calvin Smith downfield. He picks up a couple of blocks by Marone. It's a 55-yard score for Calvin Smith. Four touchdown passes for B.J. Johnson. But one last onside kick, 14 seconds to go. This one is recovered by TCU, and that will do it. 45 to 31, CTU is just outmatched on defense today as they just did whatever they wanted. Running the football, they also threw the ball efficiently, and we just had a terrible, terrible game on defense. We did turn the ball over, but I even think those turnovers were on the other side of the 50, so they weren't huge turnovers. The fumble was. But that was the only one that really, really made a difference. We definitely left some points on the board, but we can't be giving up 45 points on defense. Vincent Showcross had a good game, though. But everybody else has to as well. James Wilkins got a sack today. I did not show it, but he had a sack. Sion Okafor had a sack earlier. And we just could not stop Brad Price and Eric Stratton. Stratton ran for 73, Brad Price went, ran for 186, and Davis even ran for 44. I mean, they ran for well over 250 yards versus a, a top 10 rushing defense. But if there's a silver lining coming out of that game is that we did get our first loss, but we didn't actually not move in the BCS ranking. We are still ranked number 16. So that is an excellent sign right there. TCU moves up to number 13. B.J. Johnson surpasses his touchdown total from last year. He had 10. Now he has 13. And Vincent Showcross now leads us in tackles for loss with 8. Zion Banks' quick recruiting update does commit to Notre Dame. I will actually face Notre Dame next year, so that will be a matchup you do want to watch out for. Will Zion Banks be starting as a true freshman? And coming up on our schedule, we have T Texas Tech and now West Virginia, who is number 7. So I'm looking forward to that West Virginia game. We don't want to take Texas Tech lightly, but they are a one-win team. And the way we're playing, we are we have been beating down the bad teams. So we will see how that goes. So we do get our first loss of the season. But, you know, if there's something to take away, we don't drop in ranking. But we do drop first place. So we are now in second behind TCU. They have to lose twice in order for us to go to the conference championship at all. So we will have to pay attention to that. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bible in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride.